All right, I'm going to explain what you do if you have the situation where in your Lightroom you see the same hard drive appearing twice in your folders view. Um, I'm not showing that yet right now because I've already kind of resolved that. So what I did was um, the very first thing you want to do is go to your Lightroom catalog settings. Make sure that you have your backup to prompt you and then quit Lightroom and choose to run a backup. So if anything goes wrong, you can always go back to this thing. Now, um, I had the situation where I had a hard drive called the C on my desktop over here, and it was showing up twice in this folder view. So um, I have it organized like so. I mean, everybody has a little different um, organization that they use. Now, um, for me, I keep everything in uh, this one folder that is on that external drive. Okay, so um, that's just how I do it. Anyhow, if you end up having both your drives, your same drive showing up twice here, this is what I did to resolve that. And I'm, like I said, halfway through this. Um, run the backup like I just showed you, quit Lightroom, and then go to your desktop and change the name of this drive. So my original name was Lacie, then I changed it to Lacie Mac. Okay, then I've rebooted up Lightroom and it then comes up and says uh, that all these files are offline, something like this. You'll see this icon here, right? So that tells me the, the file's missing. Okay, so that's what I want it to do. Now what uh, my my way to resolve this is if you have a couple folders that are hanging out on the on the old hard drive over here then I'll just say find missing folder okay and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna point it to the new hard drive that I've renamed the C Mac it's arbitrary at this point and I'm gonna go and point it to here so I know that this particular may folder belongs here, right? This is my 2013 um, May folder. And let me just confirm that. Yes, that's the right one. And then it sees that, that missing folder, and then it shows it now it's it's gotten rid of that, that other drive that was kind of like a phantom or a missing drive. It was a duplicate of the same exact 4 terabyte the C drive. So now that I've done that, here I'll show you exactly what it what it's going to look like once I quit out of Lightroom. I'm going to skip that. I just did it, and um, I'm going to change this back to what I used to call it. It's just the C. Go back to Lightroom. You can see I'm I'm on an old version 4.3. Obviously, I need to update. Anyhow, um, I'm showing up. This hard drive is missing. This is my parent folder that has everything connected to it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, right-click on that, find missing folder, point it to the C. So it's the same drive it's been all along, and it's just gotten confused. So. Now everything's back and working as expected. The cause for this, if you're wondering, um, I think two things that happened. One, I was doing this where I was editing a photo in Photoshop and then saving the photo. And then when I did that, it was saving it to it, the same drive, but it was seeing it as a different drive. So I would see Lacie up here and I would see another Lacie just show up with a whole nother folder structure. Um, the other thing that I did was I had this drive and I cloned it from a different external and that way it was a new drive with the same name and somehow Lightroom recognized that as another volume. So I believe that's the cause of this. Nevertheless, um, I hope that helps you and uh, I'll put some comments in the description so that you can uh, see again the steps that I did. I found it on a forum online. So I'll reference all that in the, in the comments 
of this post. Thanks.